conch shall blow. She walks through the sands of time, but in the legacy of the queens who stood before. She's coming. She's coming. Twenty eighteen, a year that changed my life. The year that I was crowned Miss Tobago Heritage Personality, twenty eighteen. I remember the entire experience. I remember walking on stage and being greeted by the wide open atmosphere of the Sigre complex with the crowd blooming with energy, the audience active in uproar and intense support, all beautiful ladies standing in a row hoping to cap the crowd. I remember the freedom to move and the freedom to breathe and the stillness of the free air drowning the siren of the active audience with courageous women standing all in a row in hopes to become the next Miss Heritage Personality 2018. I remember silence. The lights felt brighter as it mirrored the lack of audience we grew accustomed to. Cameras stood all around us. It was only one year ago that this place was buzzing with beauty brains, talent, and tradition. Ten powerful women all vying to become the Miss Tobago Heritage Personality 2020. Here's to the dances we dance. Here's to the chants that we chant. Jogging back all the memories. Hi everyone, I am the charismatic and jovial Michelle Noel. I will be representing the Mongrels Harmony Hall Prisoners Youth Club as this year's candidate for the Miss Tobago Heritage Personality. I am Miss Cassidy Rashid, representing the youthful and culturally diverse Zante Dance Company. I am Kadila Kafidesha Gordon, representing the capital, Scarborough. I am 19-year-old, radiant dynamic, Zanika Triana Morrison, representing the lovely village of Mount St. George in this 2021 version of the Miss Tobago Heritage Personalities. I am Nalia Tate, humbly representing the tourism experiential village of Boko Tobago. I am the beautiful and intelligent Janet Campbell, proudly representing the Roxborough Police Youth Club. I am Alia Tobias, representing the panoramic fishing village of Palatuve. I am Kiana Jones, representing the cultural capital that is Hemuk. Come along this journey with this sweet Tobago girl. No, 
gosh, Kimi, you know, it's a little singing you need to make the thing go right. I agree, but no. So, so what are we going to do? Well, you see, I come with my own song this time. True? Yes, yes. You want to hear it? Yes, hit me. Oh, it is time yet again to crown the misheritage. A legacy that transcends time. Such a privilege. The footprints once set by so many gems. It's a mystery. Beauty, talent, and Is my time now? No. Oh gosh, give me. I wouldn't be long. All right, go, go. All right. Let me hear you. Two, three. Oh, come and see. Submit it to me of talent and beauty. Resounding memories of strong legacies and gems of the little me. The sands of time ever stamped, intertwined, and trapped with quality. We take in a drawback. In rememory, oh. our talent of yesteryear from 2010 to 2020. Come, let me go, let me go and watch this show. Come, let me go, let me go and watch this show. Come, let me go, let me go. Fiddler, oh, hi. Mirror, mirror on the wall, narrator of the Queen's legacy, truest storyteller of them all, the crowned Queen legacy, the passing of the gems, I summons the Queen of 2010. I felt the summon call like a wrecking current. The gem is needed to summon the gills for talent. So appear, Shade Alfred, appear, we say, and summons the delegates the right way. Yes, ladies. Now it's time for the talent aspect of the pageant. You all ready? Contestant number one, Miss Michelle Noel, representing Mount Grace Harmony Hall Prisons Youth Club. And her talent was inspired by Miss Cameron Bruno. Questions from the goat mouth. As kids, we were always told to never back talk something before it happens. Shh. Let's avoid putting goat mouth in a space. Don't talk bad about the future until you're in a good place. Because goat know how to throw a stone. But when was the last time you spoke to a goat? Get your comments from an inside source. Let your nose be covered by the breath of an animal. Sweet mouth, inside sour. Comments brewing in the belly of the beast to defecate the rest of information. Goat pellets for us should only fertilize for the soil to grow your plants for future generations, but it isn't. We see this information as nonsense and not as treasure. So it can hit the fan and we're running. So our bam bam give bounces to chefs who like curry. Cultural officers working for little to less of the money. So where are traditions going? Who is here to hear the stories of yesteryear? Who said the sour information isn't the one to be retained, the one that will twist up your mouth in pain? All stories are good stories, but if you don't share it, stay retained. The saying goes, you should always get the story straight from the source. But who tell that story in the first place? And it's a bunch of he say, she say, they say, and we keep playing the pronoun game, who say that? 
Who said the stories of yesteryear can't be used again? Who said that the past must be kept a secret? Your mother's mother's mother isn't here anymore, so you have to hear from the apples that fell from the tree something that still didn't fall too far, but ended up falling. And the story changed. Is all history someone feels full of shame? Unbaptized children still whispering your name, and they have you on their beck and call. Do and still know how to lure those who don't know where they're going. The ones who don't know how to use the outline in the sun. Footprints that came before. How do you expect your children to know anything if you don't write it down or don't tell the world? How do you expect us to know? Our feet turn backwards to walk and walk away. How can we be like the ones and walk our ways backwards but still not gain any information we need? The past is only going to continue itself until we understand and organize. This was supposed to be the last straw, but like we turned into the goat and found us chores to be fuel for our nonsense and decided to use it for the feed but not for fertilizer. So make up your mind. Now is the time to appreciate Tobago's rich, diverse culture because there is no other. So let us all take a stand to trace our footprints in the sand to protect and preserve the culture of this paradise island. All here, contestant number one, she spoken word was Kude. Yes. Well, here now, we're going and call on contestant number two, hailing from Zante Dance Company, Cash Sadi, Rashid, and her talent is inspired by Khadija Kent. Fly bald fence attainment. <laughs> Nowadays, blood does taste real different. Miss Oconia friend them tell me the reason for this different taste is because of this COVID thing that now go away at all. When me taste the fully vaccinated blood, it does taste sweet. It has start off good, good, good. And boobs, my whole body start to feel different. Me just feel like electricity run up in my head. At time, me couldn't take off. Me have to throw myself in the bush to catch myself before I fly off. Them I make life hard for me and me so cool and friend them. But now, I know the definition between the vax and the unvax them. Because them unvax them now fall asleep at all. When we taste the vax them so blood, it does send me a frenzy. The African blood mixed with the Chinese vaccine, it does have a talking. Ching, chong, 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 ching. I was a professional sucker, but I can't suck no more. These days, when I suck, it's pure cold sweat, fever. I knock out on the floor. I wonder if we take the AstraZeneca, if we're going to make things any better. Or I think it's easy for every time. Me put down a sock for me. <laughs> from it, me feel like they come out for me. This COVID-19 thing. I, I used to mash up people's life. And I used to do it for spite. I can't have no fun or make no mischief. If me see a man and like him in a normal daily life, me used to take pleasure. They got change up my skin a 
that night, if you're going to suck up your woman, or his wife, I used to suck them on the neck, or suck them on the breast, so he could look like a hickey, so the man or husband go feel it, and next man puts it there. <laughs> Late tiny day, I used to dress up, and I'm a nice, nice frock, smelling sweet, like uh, my pussy pretending, but me a really spy. You used to smell me before you could see me. I just used to position myself to console the man and them. Me could hardly find good blood nowadays. Me start to get wrinkled and old. Me start to age. Well, this I to be my last appearance. Because earlier, I tried to kill out me and Mr. Kunya friend them. But one day, I will return. By then, me hope, me hope me survive all this drama going on in this world. Is a good thing me take my two shots at AstraZeneca. Uh-huh. Because that little Cassidy there feel she could have sucked me. But anyways, let me introduce the next queen. And this beauty hails from the capital of Tobago. I'm speaking about no other than Miss Cadelia Gordon. And here the best part. She is inspired by me, Miss Kimmy Potts. Miss Heritage Personality, 2009. State my name. Meona, I am Congo Ballet Queen Elena Godonglo, a.k.a. Madame Bobo. Bailey, if you move on, sir, because just like the last 15 times I was here for the same matter, I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Lawyer, I don't need that. I is my own counsel. All you hear this. They're claiming that I'm the unclean blood lineage. They're claiming that my rights to the family throne is questionable. Tarnish, they even say, just because I am one born to a native mainstream islander man. Imagine them car cares for me. Making me look an alien, an imposter, an outsider, a bastard child. I was extracted from plantation existence. So what if I'm French Creole in substance and design? So all of them know my parents were slaves from a land so far. They was caught and brought here from Africa. So what if my mother left that British right man to shock up and form a strong union you know, with my papa? It's because that the Congo be no how to go on Congo, girl. What is wrong with me? Go God on Congo, Congo girl. girl. All I'm asking for is my birthright. I was created and nurtured with good traditional values. Yona, how else you expect me to carry my child on my back? Lift my head high, wash my clothes, and still manage to maintain 
elegance, and charisma. Now that said, I don't deserve my share on the glorious throne of recognition, went up in a Pembroke Bell Garden and Plymouth of them a call, Elena Bobo! Elena, girl! They dragged me conveniently in every university, Elena heritage, Bobo. best village, and character sausage. It's Congo, girl! Billy Fair for Tobago. Yes, me. Congo, Belle, Elena Popo. Touring the diaspora and putting Robinson Crusoe Island in map. But, Your Honor, just a few years ago, I was left alone to bury my father. Very little was done to console me in my time of grief. Your Honor, I am here today. So I will give you a national recognition. It's about time all your honor, my father, community treasure, Henry James. Yes, man, that was some energy by Miss Cadelia Gordon. But here now, we have contestant number four, and she is Miss Anika Morrison, representing Mount St. George. And her talent was inspired by Miss Esther Agar from 1993 so she's taking us way back golden souls stashed in a globe of darker shadows besieged by the emptiness that colorlessly hollows a land once of beauty now reeling of death mayhem and sorrow a battlefield of shredded acts is the trail left to follow hopelessly mourning grief that envelopes the air fair i can't breathe is what the soul can hear The stone wall deposit in Plymouth lies me, for I am the unborn spirit child of the beloved wife Betty Stevens, who to this day we all deplore, but silently mourn her death. A mother without knowing it, they say, and a wife without letting her husband know it. slave named Maros, a bold woman of Charlotteville, sentenced to die. But yes, Ma, you broke free and raised to the cliff edge and plunged into the waters below. Who am I, the unborn spirit child of one of Tobago's greatest female slave protesters? Tonight, I pay homage to your spirit mother that still rules. So 
tonight I dance for all of you. Miss Morrison carry me way back in her history, you know? Real all you better take that in all your pipe and smoke it. So, coming to contestant number five, we have Miss Nalia Tate representing Boku Village Council. All you here now? Her talent was inspired by Khadija Kent from 2011 and herself in 2019. Let's give it up for Nalia Tate. In the matter and the pestle. <laughs> oh, you're confused. <laughs> they say a COVID me dead from, but I no COVID hear this. One man in me wake up with a headache and a sting belly pain, like something me a rock up me too. I said, no, nah, this not so at all, at all, at all. Because me, take all the vaccine them. From the Pfizer to the Astra and even the Tiger at China. <laughs> so I said, Betty, go see for yourself, eh? Because the amount of people were jealous me, Betty. I'm not able. The power spoke in my wheel. So I got on by a woman in Bonacard Faro. They call T Babes. T Babes make a woman walk from poor Safish Street, Buku. Straight out of Buku Main Road. Until she a move with Lekito Kawan them. When I reach by T babes, she said, Go outside, go wash your foot in our basin. Cause she not able. No contrary spirit. Come inside and capsize she. When I look, T babes smoke me out. Spin me three times till me end up a center pole. Tibabs take away with a trans man. Beep, bam, beep, beep, bam, beep, bam, beep, beep, bam. Oh, is the spirit of your ancestors that pass from your great, 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 great grandmother. And if you ain't take it now, you're not going to make it till you're 61. You ain't no... Something I rock up your belly because you are so good. Mrs. Soko, who? She said, You are so good. Yeah. The queen so good. Yeah. Man, all you don't know. Me kill kitty. Pony woman and fly. Until she 
forgive me, spirit of ammonia. Ring it. Three time for me forget up. Hey, you play mass and afraid of powder. Come here. T babes give me all the instructions. I may push them in my bosom. I may can. He begged me for top eat salt from that day. So I said, since I'm taking this gift, it have a man alike. Them call him Big Willie Toto. That woman and them said he thinks to wait for so. Misha, you know him. He was the first person I suck. Because I couldn't get him in the physical. So me find him in the spiritual. <laughs> Ooh. I needed a fresh liver for do me concoction. Samuel Legenton. Vilma from Bachi Street. Thief in San Juan. He grave. Me dig up. But you the pan man grave. <laughs> I tell him. I pain you for your liver. I pain you for your liver. I pain you for your liver. Look, you will not even pay me for me liver yet. <laughs> Man, I put on my ritual in a the grave. First, me so excited for suck the people them man. Me fly off, forget all the instruction, and me the outside the man house. Big Willie Toto lay down the naked as he man. Like if he said, come suck me, baby. Take me, baby. I'm ready. I could smell the sweetness of his blood and see his veins pulsating to the rhythm I had beat. Oh, oh. man, I put on a ritual on Big Willie Toto for him to sleep deeper. Man, I'm not suck him. Man, I'm not suck him. Man, I'm not suck him. Oh! <laughs> I suck him till my heart contended. And before I leave, I rest one last bite on the tool shed. Then I fly off. <laughs> when I reach in the graveyard, so all you know, me forget to put my skin in the matter and the pestle. Boy, when I look, my skin small for my body. Grand upon my skin. Me put on my skin. My skin upon me. My skin there upon me. My skin there upon me. Ah! Oh! You see, make your muscle trouble, trouble. When trouble not trouble, yeah? Trouble. Oh! Oh! The sons of time. They catch up on me because history repeated itself. My great, 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 great grandmother and each generation before she suffered because I didn't follow instruction. In 2019, I tell all you, root all yourself in all your old ways and tradition. And here I am, suffering the simple instruction that was given to me. When you play with fire, you just get burned. <laughs> but wait, she gone. Wow, 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 wow. Nalia Tate say, not trouble, trouble, if trouble not trouble you. And they say, me, me, I like trouble. So me didn't even want to spend much time on she. But let me tell you something now. The next contestant, she come from all the way up in Roxborough. And she tell me, say, 
that she was inspired by Miss Ioni Farmer of Lescoteau in the year of 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, on stage we have Miss Janae Campbell representing the Roxborough Police Youth Club. All the ancestors near and far Calling you to come We're calling you to come in the yard Calling you to come In the year 1876 I was brutally murdered by none other than a wicked, deceitful carpal of a man named Belmana. But me at the piggy and me footprint in the sands of time could never be erased. Oh, Bacchanal, oh, Bacchanal, oh, Bacchanal, here tonight. Right in this rocks, bro. Pant his hair estate. Sugarcane and cocoa was cultivated. In our ten days, even though slave women abolished, we still felt under bondage. To bring all we are all the way from Barbados, chest for pooey under misery. If all you see, the workless barrack where they had nice girl like me. Sometime in the night, and me and cockroach I hug up for sleep. And in there, it been so overcrowded. It's like every day was carnival. But I even talk about the walk. It wasn't easy. No. If I let we in the hot sun, blowing the land. By the time we come out on a Sunday, we saw black just when night come in. And you are tell me, after all the hard labor day, them chuck off an ass wasn't giving me with pay. They're taking out hefty sum as health to charge and introduce a wicked chuck system to rob our way. In the end, it's we, the hard working laborers, ending up broken and frustrated. But finally, we said enough was enough. We wronged up the weapons and we was ready for the war. Is there? On a down grimy, first thing on a bowl like. Meaty Piggy, been a brave warrior who stood up for the people. The whole of Tobago knows, sir. Me give Belmana the greatest challenge I life. Me run up on Belmana chest, then I run down back. Then I had him making circles, and he feels shame about that. But we've been always know Belmana was a soft man. He didn't even have the balls to stand up and fight me. Huh? Like the chicka happy fool was in a shooting mood. All I hear is... Next thing you know, I end up in a place where Alia is the, mo Alia is the movie and me our chan. But ever since... And I keep coming by my grave with read. Read nothing. The next time you're coming, bring a little sweet water, a buckle of honey, a pink mascato. Remember, all your day in 2021 and me spirit evolved from 1876. But back to business. I have returned to ignite a flame, to burn the remnants of this estate to ashes once and for all. I have come to seek justice for the hundreds of us who were oppressed on these grounds. It is time to celebrate the victory as we break the chains with those things that kept us under bondage. I said, fire in the east, fire in the west, fire in the north, and fire in the south. That was some vibrations from the Roxborough Plantation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So now let we go over north side now. Yes, we have another in 
inspirational piece from Miss Alia Tobias. But Miss Alia Tobias is inspired by none other than Miss Khadija Kent. And she shall suck forever and ever. The queen of suck. Forever, forever. Suck you more. Forever, forever. Queen of suck and suck you more. That was then. Yes, when I was the queen of the burning flame. Everybody did know my name. Yes, me, Lauren Sukuya, hypnotic and enchanting, sutress of medieval time. I ain't just no random Sukuya. I am one of a kind. Yes, me, Mama Ejuna. Lauren Sukuya, queen of fire. Mama, every full moon, I in full flight. When men don't walk, drink the punching and whiskey, is then I just get happy and lucky. I went to the best Sukuya school, was always head of my class. Graduated, suck me, come, Lade, come and suck me today. They used to call me because I used to give the best suck in the whole island. And yes, my best conquest was not the babies or the ladies, but the men and them. Fire, fire. Contestant, and this comes from the village of Pembroke by no other than Kiana Jones. All you know, she talent was inspired by Renicia Rajman from Pembroke, too. She went up in 2010. So let's give it up for Kiana Jones. <laughs> Girl, why you dress like that to prepare the pear and plate? Girl, leave me, eh? We have time. Hold this. I go and do some TikTok. <laughs> Stay down there, girl. Stay <laughs> down there. Stay down there. Why not go down there? <laughs> ah, I know they're hearing me. 
and no one has seen me. It's me, doing Knox, Safe. It's hot in my heart and soul to know that things go in the way they are now. So spirits, spirits of the ancestral yard, come, come. for listen and me while for listen well because tonight I am the embodiment of the story in the footprint we the ancestors came to tell without culture there's no life to honor without youth no preservation can live there's the time to change this inhumane behavior and to learn all we culture can give to the missing generation out there. Who cares? I care. Find them. You better find them. To ensure that we culture still here. I care. Find them. You better find them. It's time. The youth indulge in dances like the jig. And the heel and toe. And don't forget me real. I mean, what me walk To see who are mm, go down there, why not go down there? Mm. No, 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 no. Go back in our wee times, great people like me and Cecil Jerry, we've been excited for see. Hey, mama. Modella said enough. But me here to remind all you where we come from and where we are going tonight. We're doing what's right. Acknowledgement, recognition, and appreciation to the great Cecil Jerry. I put you in the cultural hall of fame. To the famous woman, the woman with virtue, Tanti Lota. I put you the cultural hall of fame to the man with the vision the keeper to Bego's culture Mr. Elvis Rajman I put you in the cultural hall of fame and to the youth I don't wake up now man wake up and remember that you are the children 
Covered in the ancestral blood. No. Farewell, my children. Farewell. And remember, carry on my legacy. Carry on the legacy. Carry on my legacy. Of course. And if my memory serves me great, that legacy stopped before 2008. Yes. Tall and shiny was the first official crown. True. Mm -hmm. And if I could remember, mm -hmm. Shadi, Alfred won. Yes. It was the start of a new era. That era was filled with regal splendor. Well, call Shina. Let us see the first crowned queen. Shade Alfred, you are summoned to introduce Gongs. Mama! For the gong segment. Contestant number one, Miss Michelle Noel, representing the Mount Grace Harmony Hall Prisons Youth Club. is entitled Heritage Reflections of a Home, designed by Nolan and Ronnie John of Regal Designs, made by Nolan John. Hair and makeup by Ronnie John of Sasha Cosmetics. Heritage, that which was inherited. This gown reflects the rich cultural heritage of our beautiful Isle of Tobago. It was made from an array of colored burlap, brown cotton, and illusion mesh. Long sleeve gown cut on the bias fits the contours of Michelle's rich mahogany toned body, opening into a triumph flare at the hemline with a cathedral trail at the back. The technique of patchwork was used to represent the melange of many hands that controlled Tobago till 1818. When joined with Trinidad by the British, intricately placed within the patchwork lies a map of our capital paradise of Tobago. The veins of the patches are braided in black paying homage to our African ancestors who came as slaves, adding to the cultural landscape we know today. Mirrors were used to accentuate the gown, reflecting light for the future from a rich cultural past. Michelle also wears specifically handcrafted hair, shoes, and accessories. On stage before you is Miss Michelle Noel, Miss Mount Grace Harmony Hall Prisons Youth Club. And Michelle makes way for contestant number two, Miss Cassidy Rashid, representing Dan Dante Dance Company. Glorious. Madam Sukunya, 
graces our eyes with her fully flamed presence. On a mission, she flies out looking for uncontaminated blood and sets herself out with a plan to avoid COVID. She is certainly one of our most peculiar and super powerful folklore characters. In 2021, salt is not the only element that will cripple her existence, but also the COVID-19 virus. The Sukunya, with her ability to change her physical form, has morphed a fire suit and merged it with a plastic covering as protection from the virus. The suit offers airborne protection as she flies through the sky. As she tries to enter the keyhole of the door to her newest victim, the Sukunya removes the cover as the plastic is unable to pass through. upon her next victim and she reveals the flaming look of Madame Sukuya. When she removes her overcoat, Cassidy is dressed in a gown entitled Madame Sukuya. This ball gown silhouette was chosen as it represents the ball of fire in which she traverses the night sky in search of new victims. This Odette Jack creation features an intricate waistline made of handmade applique using repeated fire motifs. The fabrication consists of red lace, yellow, red, and black sequined fabric, nude stretch mesh, and iridescent candy floss. The top features a turtleneck with fire motifs and spikes which mimic the blazing combustion of a fireball darting through the sky. The back also features a plunging opening which not only accentuates her slender physique but also creates mystery. The bottom of the dress is made of three tiers embellished with ostrich plumes with which each movement in the air flutters and mimics the flickering motion of flames. This ensemble also features a matching headpiece embellished with fire applique, sparkling iridescent crystals and rhinestones. Cassidy is sponsored by Anson Parks, Melissa Gaskin, and Jana Style Studio. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Miss Cassidy Rashid, representing Zante Dance Company. Now make way for Miss Cadelia Gordon representing Scarborough. Scarborough is located on the southern coast of the island of Tobago. The lower Scarborough area is anchored by Scarborough Market, a panoramic view of the Atlantic Ocean, birthplace of our Juve and Carnival festivities. On a hill overlooking the city, the ruins of 18th century Fort King George now house 
the Tobago Museum. Tobago was named Belforma by Christopher Columbus on his third transatlantic voyage of Scarborough in 1948. Indeed, she becomes more beautiful. Cadelia's portrayal is entitled Footprints of My Legacy Unfolds. Cadelia's gown, design and concept is a potpourri of eras, accomplishments, pursuits, and colonial ruling. This gown celebrates freedom and it firmly imprints of our footprint indelibly in the sands of time. Cadelia's pride and realness is testimony of the beauty of our chains and bondage evolutionary story. This gown shows deep appreciation for the capital city that encompasses so many wonders like the botanical gardens which form the slave trade auction block. Incorporated into the use of the fabric is the infamous lighthouse officer's mess and the Tobago Museum at the Fort King George. Using burlap, cocoa brown, cream patterned Brazilian cotton and Georgina embossed lace, this design features several layers of V-like blocks that is a salutation of our greatness and the proud emancipated people we have evolved into. This cosmopolitan portrayal is reflective of many eras and is a tribute to Scarborough. Miss Cadelia Gordon brings her warmth and charm doubled with excitement to the heritage platform. Her portrayal was born out of the love of the capital, Scarborough. Scarborough became a beacon of light and the island's capital. Ladies and gentlemen, before you is Miss Cadelia Gordon representing Scarborough. Sorting your moon, who put away the delam way you do talk. Oh, mamma, where sorting your who put away the delam way you do talk. Who put away the delam way you do talk. Who put away the delam way you do talk. Communism, we don't have a way over way. I you can for way over way. I you can for way over way. I you can for way. Contestant number four, Miss Zanika Morrison, representing Mount St. George. I am the goddess mother of all. Queen and protector of the deep sea. My presence is revered through the sacred space. I am the womb of creation. As the waves of the ocean breaks on the shore, so too the rivers run from my breast. I am the force that swirls beneath the surface. She who connects sea and sky rivers and streams yes the infinite mother who reclaims you feel the sand beneath your feet pour the conch to your air gaze upon my blue and i will strengthen you for i the enchanted spirit of the midnight waters become your freedom 
Zanika's gown is an ode to the watery footprint of the seas. The colors blue, iridescent, blue, green, aquamarine, and green are testimony to the beauty of the waters. The gown is complemented by the use of natural clear plastic that enhances the sparkle of the crystal blue waters. The style of the gown reveals an elongated seabed trail at the back which complements which is complemented by layers of splish splash, panels of frills representing life in the hypnotizing waters. Several shades of blues, aquamarine, and iridescent hues are evident in the eruption. The headpiece worn is a beautiful depiction of coral life and fuses the symmetrical style of the energy and current under the sea. The sparkling blue globe represents the world and the pure spiritual forms of the marine life there is. Evident for all to see, coral reef ecstasy. As Zanika portrays before you, she wears an enthralling ensemble, a magnificent marine Atlantic blue skies and seas creation. A gown made by Juliet Robinson, entitled Enchanted Spirit of the Midnight Waters. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number four, Zanika Morrison, representing Mount St. George in a Sankofa house creation. This gong I paid tribute to our past queens from the village of Boko, like Lana Murray, Crystal London, Sarah from Upper Carroll Gardens, Gavi Sandy, and Khadija Kent from Post Arfish Street. Also paying homage to the founding fathers at the Tobago Heritage Festival, like the late great Dr. J.D. Elder and Mr. Stanley Beard. And imagine, the gown was even hand-painted by another past queen from Boku, Anisia Batiste. Drag your bow, Mr. Fiddler! <laughs> My name Ati Biggs, and me come fi tell you what Tori. What Tori of a powerful hunter. What great mother, lovers, but never destined to be together. You manja fall in love with what agile hunter. And decide for bring him in a house under the ocean. In the depths of the seas, where light only a kiss the surface. Every day, the great hunter, he been grow weary at the watery kingdom. And yearn to step foot back, Panla. A true hunter. A natural wandering spirit thirst for solace. So he decide for tell him manja he wa for go back a land. Plunge into sorrow. He manja ripped off every last tongue, rendering him speechless. So he can't tell she secret them. And so Erile left the watery depth to return to his solitude pan life. Time passed and in Manja's heart healed. She grew from pain 
and emerge a gem of the ocean. Wise and prudent, ethereal goddess, the great mother Emanja. This gong was designed and constructed by Miss Monifa Simple. It represents a resilient culture that been passed on from our ancestors. Amidst adversity, our ara tradition survive and ego continue to thrive on. And Nalia makes way for contestant number six, Jane Campbell, representing the Roxborough Police Youth Club. Legend says, every year on May 3rd, Tipigi returns to Roxborough. At midnight, the entire village glows with the flame of her flambeau. The spirit of Mary Jane Thomas in a dress is a dress in two parts, designed by Ronald Guy James. First, she appears in a white pleated duet with a frilled foulard worn over the shoulders, symbolic of the peasant spirit of Tipigi. Then she turns to flame in a red dress of 100% China silk with an underskirt made of China silk and brown cotton. The bodice of her red dress features a bustier with a plunging décollé. Features a bustier with a plunging décolleté and the sleeves designed to drape off the shoulders. The bustier is covered in hand-cut flames in red, orange, and gold with hints of blue and an iridescent red center. This concept was inspired by the hand-cut white flowers constructed for the gown portrayed by Miss Oshun Mills in 2016. The skirt is a sweeping circle and a half wide, cut into 12 panels. Each panel sports a flame motif created by layering applique, each trimmed in red, yellow, or gold braid. The skirt is wired to keep its shape, a concept also inspired by the Guy James 2016 piece. Her headpiece represents the flambeau. Here, the flame motif returns, made from glittered board, coquier, red crystals, mesh, and braid, all mounted on a wire frame. Ladies and gentlemen, Janae Campbell, Miss Roxborough Police Youth Club, is the spirit of Mary Jane Thomas as conceptualized, designed, and constructed by Ronald Guy James. Janae was sponsored by the Roxborough Police Youth Club, Jazz Artistry, Anya Lovell, Refix World Group of Companies, and Fluent Hair by Fluffy. Janae Campbell makes way for Miss Aaliyah Tobias, contestant number seven, representing Parla Tevere. Our environment has always been of great importance to the people of Tobago. It has been our mainstay for survival and sustenance of our economy and our survival. Our lands were precious 
and our ancestors worked the plantations and celebrated the victory of its yield. Walking proudly in the mirrored footprints of our ancestors is Miss Tobias. Miss Tobias takes a memorable trip in time as she celebrates and pays homage to the bounty of our ecology in a creation suitably entitled Ecstasy of Our Ecology. Footprints the splendor of Mother Earth. From since creation, Mother Nature provided life-giving and nurturing aspects of wildlife, fostering its pure growth. This design concept uses many shades of green and textiles to create the scenic rich gardenia in a rich French like design. It celebrates the richness of the French history and the arbitrary that the village is known for. Alias Gong screams ecological ecstasy. This portrayal is a reflection of the true essence of gardening, crop cultivation, and farming. It is a celebration of the blessings from nature. In this golden treasured revisit of our ancestral strands of time, amidst a time of global change and environmental decay, wildlife protection is vital. Aaliyah's Heritage Gong salutes the abundance of prosperity and the vitality of the land. It's the lush green vegetation sandy, uncluttered beaches, its pure rivers, lakes, and streams, reminiscent of nature's treasures to all of us. Juliet Robinson is credited for the textile construction and production of Aaliyah's Gong. Out of San Kofa's The Ancient House, is Aaliyah Tobias representing Paula Tavir. Contestants number eight, Miss Kiana Jones representing Pembroke. legacy that is the African drum. This regal splendor pays homage to what is known as the staple of our communities, the center of all things spiritual and all things cultural. Kiana is an embodiment of the spirit of the drums. The drum tells our story. Its pulsating songs are the heart of our existence. This overpiece is a representation of the six drum yards in Pembroke, the community's center that for decades nurtured and developed its people. It is the driving force of our social life that is dated to the days of the plantation. 
often regarded as rebellious music, drums share a gruesome history. However, it remained as part of the people and in so many ways sustained the cultural ecology of our plantations and led to the formation of our communities. This overpiece is a celebration of our rich traditions and the polyrhythmic songs that speak to the vibrancy of our people. The white represents the spirits of the ancestors, which are called by the vibrations of the drums, depicted through the vibrant drum skin. This coat is accentuated with chords that are a representation of the gross atrocities experienced by our enslaved forefathers. The cocoa brown represents the roots of the tree that sprouts from the earth that is cut and hollowed to make the instrument. As she removes this overpiece, Kiana becomes one with the ancestor of this great legacy. This is the manifestation of Imelda Crookshank, the eldest female drummer to have lived in Pembroke and by extension Tobago. The bottom of the gown is adorned with white, which tells a story of purity and shows her connection to the spirit world. It also represents the pathway to the different nations, whose legacies are commonly traced with the African drums. At the front of the gown are a path of gold flowers which represent the footprints of Imelda Crookshank. Kiana's headpiece takes the form of a drum, shaped, designed, which complements the design structure at the waist of the gown, and is a representation of the most powerful drum there is, the djembe. To complement this ensemble, she wears matching shoes and accessories. Kiana's makeup was done by Tony Ewing. She is proud to be sponsored by Elvis Rajman, Berry Link Cellular, Massey Motors, Winston Trim, and Crusoe's Holiday Apartments. Ladies and gentlemen, in a gown conceptualized and designed by Miss Heritage Personality 2001, Darcel Kirk, and made by Miss Marcia DeVines, I present to you the spirit of the drums. Contestant number eight, Miss Kiana Jones, representing Pembroke. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to introduce to you the top five delegates of this year's Miss Heritage Personality 2021.
let us invite our tabulator. <laughs> In no particular order, let us invite Miss Nalia Tate of the Buku Village Council. Our second top five delegate is. Miss Janae Campbell of Roxborough. Our third delegate is Miss Kiana Jones of Pembroke. And as she makes her way on stage, let us now invite delegate number four, Miss Aaliyah Tobias. And to round off our number five spot, let us welcome from the Zante Dance Company, Miss Cassidy Rashid. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our top five delegates. Miss Nalia Tate, Miss Janae Campbell, Miss Kiana Jones, Miss Alia Tobias, and Miss Cassidy Rashid. Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin the question and answer segment, we invite Nalia Tate to the stage, please. If you were to submit a proposal to the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited for the improvement of the personali personality competition, sorry, what would be your first suggestion and why? Good evening, everyone. If I am to submit a proposal to the Tobago Festivals Commission on the improvement of the personality show, I would introduce or send a proposal based on a papa bois. Reason being, most times we showcase a woman in the Tobago Heritage Festival, for instance, Bonacord. Crumb Point Bonacourt, it takes a village to raise a child, where they showcase the domestic goddess in the, within the household, sorry. So, I would send a proposal depicting the masculinity of a man within the Tobago Heritage Festival. Thank you. Thank you, Nalia. We now invite Janae Campbell to the stage, please. What aspects of all traditions and heritage have prepared you to cope with this period of economic and social challenges? Distinguished judges, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant evening. The spirit of the ancestors is one of resilience. 
This resilience is what has equipped me to cope with all the socio-economic challenges that we are plagued by, especially in this COVID-19 pandemic. When one researched the his researches the history, they would realize that our ancestors resisted their oppressive forces. They overcame their challenges, and it is this resilient spirit that we all need to exhibit in order to overcome whatever challenges that we may face. For example, I am representing the Roxborough Police Youth Club, situated in Roxborough. The Roxborough would have had the Belmana riot in which our ancestors would have fought against the challenges that they face. And my admonition to all of you is to exhibit this same spirit in order to overcome our challenges. I thank you. And now we invite Kiana Jones to the stage. Kiana, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. Proverbs or idioms have been used by Tobagonians to express themselves without being too direct. Do you think that the use of proverbs and idioms are important in today's society? Why or why not? Good evening. I believe that proverbs are very important because it reminds us of our legacy. When you hear a proverb or an idiom, it tells you what they used to say back in the days. Young people, as myself, it gives us a knowledge and understanding about our culture and anything else that we can imagine. So I believe that it is important in today's society. Thank you, Kiana. We now invite to the stage Miss Alia Tobias. Traditional knowledge is oftentimes transmitted through practice. In this technological era, what new avenues can be explored for the transmission of indigenous knowledge and practice? Good afternoon, judges, ladies, and gentlemen. Living in this global pandemic that we face, I would suggest that we use this opportunity, seeing that we are living in a technological world, to use the platform to. Sorry. I'll go again. Living in a global and scientific world that we are currently under a pandemic, I would use the online or technological transmission to do things such as webinars. And thank you. And now we invite our final delegate in the question and answer segment, Cassidy Rashid. Yeah. In a digital landscape that is so heavily driven by what is trending and likes, how would you maintain authenticity in a world where popularity seems to be favored? I would use this digital platform to create other platforms or create um, webinars or workshops or platforms that we can help research and start new trends that we or culture and our heritage could be preserved. Um, I would also use that platform as a way to encourage, showcase and attract New, new people and keep our culture going. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rashid. Ladies and gentlemen, that was our final delegate in the question and answer segment. I must make mention that these questions were not seen by the delegates beforehand. Thank you to our esteemed judges and our listening public. Ladies and gentlemen, on stage, Miss Heritage Personality,
2020. Greetings. I am Carrie Sia Morrison, your Miss Tobago Heritage Personality 2020. My year as your reigning queen has definitely been astounding. After being crowned, I was quite skeptical of my year ahead due to the pandemic, but there isn't anything I would change about it. My journey has mainly taught me to be thankful because in a time like this, where all hope is lost, I remain committed to fulfilling my duties. With this platform, I was able to create a non-profit organization called SASH, successfully attaining Smiling Hearts, which allowed me to assist various persons in need. My reign has made me more confident, hardworking, and persistent in everything that I do. So before I leave the stage, I'd like to express a heartfelt thanks to my family and my group, Delicia's Dance Agency, for their continued support throughout the year. To the Miss Tobago Heritage Personality Committee, the Tobago Festivals Commissions Limited, and First Citizens, thank you again for granting me this opportunity to motivate others. Lastly, to the newly crowned queen, welcome to the sisterhood. Use this platform to inspire others, create opportunities, and explore your culture. Thank you. Look the queen I come, clear the way, clear, 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 clear the way. Look the queen I come, clear the way, clear. and gentlemen, let us welcome on stage Mr. John Arnold, CEO of the Tobago Festivals Commissions Limited and Mrs. Arlene St. Louis Brathwaite, Assistant Branch Manager of First Citizens Canaan. This is the moment we have been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in, and we're gonna crown her Miss Heritage Personality 2021, hailing from the Roxborough Police Youth Club, Miss Janae Campbell. La round of applause.
ladies and gentlemen. And that has been our Miss Heritage Personality 2021. We thank you for viewing. We'd like to thank our sponsors, First Citizens, and the Tobago House of Assembly. Have a beautiful evening. Stay safe. Social distance. Sanitize. And stay COVID-free.